All right, so it's Thursday, March 27th, and we are in the garage with the 87K20. We're going to start pulling the old 350 out so that we can do heads and cam to it. Um, yeah, never pulled one of these before. This is going to be my first time pulling out a CK series truck motor. Um, should be pretty straightforward, honestly. There's a whole lot of more room to work on one of these things than there is on a Firebird. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm sure there'll be uh, some unexpected challenges along the way. But first step is we got to get the 400 in that black trash bag over there off the engine stand and onto a tire so that we can use that engine stand when we get the 350 out to make the upgrades. So we're going to go ahead and use the cherry picker to pull the 400 off and then uh, move the cherry picker over in front of the K20. So here we go with that. All right, so we're going to start by uh, disconnecting our upper and lower radiator hoses and our accessories, I guess. Um, batteries, obviously. All the ground wires have to get disconnected. Um, so we'll do that stuff, pull the carb off. Yeah, we'll just kind of start picking away at it and see how far we make it tonight. And We'll get to the rest tomorrow and the next day, so here we go. Accessories are off the front minus the front accessory drive pulley on the crank. We'll get that off in a minute here um, Or maybe not quite yet. I don't know uh, Couldn't figure out exactly how to get the fan shroud off at the bottom. So we'll figure that out Before we go back in, but we did get the water pump and the fan Off together um, Right there Just took the air cleaner off. We'll take the carb off here, but I really need to check and see Make sure that my uh, exhaust bolts will come out. Uh, that would be a big bummer if I got all this stuff tore apart. Because I don't really have time or whatever to get new exhaust stuffs for this. So I really need those to come out good before I really mess any further with this coming out. But uh, anyway, 
making some good progress, getting stuff uh, taken out of the way and whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and crawl underneath the car and check out on those exhaust bolts. And then we'll be back up top to keep tearing stuff out. But uh, I'm gonna go underneath there and probably check on the motor mount bolts too, try and get those out. But I'm not gonna record that because it's just uh, kind of hard to see what I'm doing myself, let alone trying to get a camera angle of it. So we're gonna go ahead and crawl underneath there and do that right now. Okay, so we went underneath there and we got the exhaust bolts to come loose. That was pretty impressive, seeing as they were pretty crusty, but they came out all right. And uh, I didn't bother with the motor mount bolts yet. Um, pardon me. I'm gonna have to jack the truck up, put it on some stands to get just a little more clearance underneath it for me to roll around underneath there uh, before I try and get those. And it's already getting kind of late. And <laughs> had a long day and got a long day again tomorrow. So we're gonna try. Uh, Get some more work done on this thing tomorrow night. Um, yeah, we'll see. Did decently well tonight. Got the accessories all off. Uh, and the exhaust bolts undone. So, I mean, it doesn't really sound like a whole lot. But seeing as uh, this thing is kind of an unknown, and especially the exhaust bolts were pretty rusty, um, that's pretty decent for only a couple hours work. So, anyhow... Um, that's it for tonight and for this video. We're going to try and put this up tomorrow, uh, out tomorrow morning and so on and so forth with the next couple of videos. Really going to try and get this thing done by next Monday. So it's Thursday. we got like, what, five days? Something like that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But, um, anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.